Right here we are. We're going to do the nine hole campaign here for the expert division. Key to thing to know is we got to get at least six under to earn all three stars. So it should be relatively easy to do following my, you know, tips and strategies. And especially as you get to uh, level up your clubs, you're going to find that much easier to do. So here you can see 192, 187 into the wind. See, I don't think the 187 into the wind is going to get there. So I'm thinking, you know, this is probably good, maybe with about 90%. Since it is towards the back of the green, I am going to uh, conserve my rollout ball. And just try to hit this maybe like a 90. So there you can see we roll this in. For the very first hole good to go and it looks like we got the perfect tee box here should be able to roll this up I'm thinking roller ball here aim right around here I'm even thinking of maybe coming in just one or two percent just to avoid I do think that it's going to be coming in with enough speed so I hit that 99, 98, somewhere in there. And you can see that it's just enough. It's all about knowing your clubs. You know, if you're at the 274, you probably could have rolled that up there. Just perfect. With the 283 club, you can see it's just a little bit too much. Similarly, you know, you can lay up. And I kind of showed you guys that as well. So I'm thinking somewhere around here, kind of... Put it just a little bit quick. It looks like I might have pulled that. Oh, I definitely pulled that. So just pulled it. So, um, you know, that's the big key. Um, as you can see, you know, that, that ball started out just a little bit right of where I land, aimed. And then it just never had, with only a one degree slope, it's barely going to break. So here we are, and we're going to be looking at this. And with it being downwind, um, you know, I do believe I can take off on this hole. We won't need to go full because it is just a little bit downhill. It's somewhere along the lines of that. Ha! Oh, I need one more percent to get there. So I probably shouldn't have went that risky. It's really trying to get the number there. Just a little bit too aggressive. This is really throwing away points when you do this. And when I, I guess when I get down to the expert, you know, sometimes I just get just a little bit too overconfident. As you can see, you know, we're trying to grind out 11%, 11. I'm thinking, you know, four and a half grids there for the power at 11 yards. Then hopefully just catching a straight, and it looks like I might have pulled that just a touch. So sure enough, we're going to miss that one. We're going to go with a roll ball here to get this out just a little bit farther. You can see the pin is very tucked to the left. Anytime it's very tucked, you, you're probably better off with just a little bit shorter drive. I'm going to have to really hook this around these trees. So we're going to do this, backspin, something like this. We are going to go for the hook here. You know, even if I get it into the bunker, I really don't care. Um, we're going to earn a lot of points for this. So you can see the mistake here is going to be a good one. At half, it's a little bit more than half club. You can see 41 is what it's reduced to. So it's going to be probably like a 60% shot, give or take. I think it's something along the lines of this. Oh, just didn't have enough on that wind. So it would have rolled in. We would have got that eagle. And I'd just been just an air over on that here you can see, you know, we're probably going to go around to this left-hand side. 257, 
So with the wind, I am going to just play this a little bit short. I don't want to go into the water. And it is significantly downhill. Might be a little bit too much on the hook. That looks maybe pretty good. I'm going to go with this. So it is going to come up short. You know, I, I needed to go driver, but if I went driver, I was going to have to take off. Um, but at the same time, you know, getting into the bunker, like I said, it's going to earn me a lot of points. I'll get, you know, 230 points for this. It's essentially going to essentially probably seal me getting, um, you know, three stars, being able to, to get these up and down. So you can see it's reduced to 41 again. This is probably at least three quarters club. Playing a little bit of wind. That might be a little bit too much on the wind. Let me come in just a touch. At least three quarters, like I said, plus uphill. And sure enough, there it is. So there you can see, great shot hole out. So we're, we're going to get even more points. So we'll get great shot points. Um, plus the Sansei, plus the Eagle. I mean, that's, you know, going to kill this point wise that will easily all all we have to do worry about now is just hitting the six under number to get three stars but the more that we do do the bit the better we'll get experience and everything so it's still good to you know try to grind for this now this is close because it is uphill and it's into the wind so i don't want to quite risk that so i'm going to club up and essentially maybe just take off maybe seven percent or something and there you can see, um, 91 was probably just a little bit light. I did want to hit 93 if I could. It just didn't quite get there. And you can see it probably would have clipped this rough had I not, had I not uh, you know, if I played just a little bit more aggressively. So it's a good thing that it kind of went the way that it did. So here we are. We're just going to roll this out as far as we can down the hill. You can see. We can get it down here, even into the wind. I just want to use these top spin balls to get this up here as far as possible. You can somewhere along the lines of this with a slice shot. So you can see that I'm trying to slice it into the wind, try to keep it from going too much to the left. Also, it keeps it away from that tree. So here you can see back spin. Um, from this distance, it barely plays uphill. So this is about eight extra yards. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to probably go with this and go full. I mean, I, I feel like I can get relatively aggressive with this. So I'm going to try to go here. And it is going to still roll down to the right. Looks like it wasn't quite enough wind place, but it was close. But you could see, you know, when you're in there close, it, it, it barely plays uphill. That was probably only about eight yards or so. And it still got to the hole, especially with the grabber. So using the grabber can be the key. And it looks like we're getting this tee box here. So probably I'm going to go for this. I'm not sure if this is going to get there. You know, this is one of those times I may pull out a bronze tee, to be honest. Just to get a couple extra yards. So that's going to give me four extra yards of carry. And we're going to also, on top of this, probably hit just a slight draw. Or a slight slice, slight, sorry. Just not enough. So maybe a silver tee. But you can see, you know, we're getting in the ballpark of being able to go for this green. And getting it up on there is going to give us a, yet another eagle chance. So left one, it's barely going to break left. You can see it's collapsed to 49 yards. At 49, we're talking 60-ish percent club. However, it is straight downwind and also down, so downhill. So I'm going to play it maybe 50%. Because I know it's just going to run out. But it looks like I underplayed that wind. I may have even pulled it just a little bit. <clears throat> so you can see I'm not going to get as many points by going for that approach. I need to get that on the green. However, we have more than enough points. It's worth taking some risks. So here you can see 1, 2, 16. I believe with this wind we'll be able to club down. And hit this pretty close to straight up. I may still need to take off a, a yard or two, but you can see I'm playing a significant win because it's how because of how much downwind it is. 
downhill. So we're playing that wind significantly. It looks like I just overplayed it, but it looks like my distance control was pretty good. You can see I'm in here tight. Um, good opportunity. You can see we just roll this in. As close as we are, we got almost, it's almost got our st stock 180. You can see with the nine under, um, it's going to push us well up into the into the 17s here. So easily got the, you know, like I said, you know, there was one or two clutch shots, which I knew kind of sealed the deal for us. So, um, you know, that great eagle holdout was essentially what really capped us over because we only got over by about 100 points because we played a little aggressive there. Coming in, you know, I could have earned another 50, 60 points by laying up one eight there as opposed to what I did. So these are the things that you want to be thinking about. Um, good luck with that. Uh, expert campaign and I'll see you guys uh, next time.